give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire. guys and welcome to the Daytona International Speedway for race number 15 and the final race before the playoffs of the Pepsi Hybrid Series Season 1. This is a very important race for a lot of drivers in this field. Some of these drivers are locked in, some of these drivers are actually out of the playoffs, locked out, they cannot make it. We will get to that in just a second. But again, this is a very important race. A lot. It's a double points race, so let's get to it. Drivers that are locked into the playoffs obviously are your points leader, Hunter Adkins, and then there's Jason Tucker. He is locked in, so they cannot lose their playoff spot in this race. They are so far ahead in the points that they will not be bothered no matter where they finish. But, however, the regular season champion is still up for grabs by for i think everyone in the top 10 of the points um there's a few people out of the playoffs everyone that was 37th i believe and back was officially eliminated from the playoff contention unfortunately that's just mathematically you're out of the playoffs anyway we will get you your updated points as they stand right now in just a second but let's get started this race. Here are your updated points so you know where you stand and where you need to finish in this race. And we will get you right to the green flag. So we got a very high stakes race up for today. Again, last race before the playoffs. Eric Hamill will start on the pole. Uh, Audra Baranosis will start second. Skylar Perry third. Caleb Webster fourth. Andrew Wilson fifth. Tyler Faden sixth. Joshua Sakali seventh. LW Wright eighth. Um, Steve Morgan, uh, Henry Williams ninth. And then Casey Naneko tenth. Anyway, we are. About to go green pace cars off, and we are green from Daytona. One race until the playoffs. A good start for that front row. Tyler Perry's gonna go to the middle. Andrew Wilson's gonna go to the inside. So back here, race one of the year, we have very interesting race back and forth. Here goes Andrew Wilson for the lead. He is going for his second year. They are still three by three behind him. LW Wright's made a run on that inside line. They are so tight together right there. Four wide going into turn one. Almost four wide going into turn one. And they're four wide behind him. Oh, this can only go bad. 
And there's your Daytona 500 winner. He won back at race one, Daytona 500, Sam at Oskin. He has found his way up to the front. Brian James up behind him. Big wreck behind him. That's Matthew Logan. John Gilbert involved. There's another wreck in front of him. Rick Hill Sr. Oh, we got the big one right in front of him. And they're still wrecking. So craziness at Daytona. And there's still there's a wreck coming out of turn two. Skylar Perry got sideways, but he got saved. And we will take you to a replay of what happened. So this is just tight racing. Again, trying to go four wide. It looks at the 10 Ryan Kinghart. Clip the 29 Ethan Walker right there. And sent the 12 around and a lot of others around. And this is just not the way you want to start a double points race, especially the last race before the playoffs. See a couple guys get through it on the inside. Let's take a look at what happened further ahead. I didn't see that until there was the cars driving by it. Oh boy. 32 kill. Bluster gets into Audra Burn Oscus. And just everyone. Slides and then there's a lot of hard hits here. And the 20 almost got a hit upside down. Still some hard hits. Is that the 02 Ryan Knox that got in that? Yes, it was. They just don't stop. I mean, we will take you to pit stops or the green flag. We will be right back. So Steve Morgan will lead the field on pit road. Brian James right behind him. And it looks like everyone is coming down. Some contact between the 8 and the 24, but Brian James will lead the field off pit road. Looks like Sam Oskin second, TJ Hanley third, uh, Anthony Lopez fourth, and Andrew Wilson in fifth. And we will take you to the restart. We got the 11 car blows up, it looks like. And he will make it down to pit road, and his day will be done. Lucky for Hunter Adkins that he's locked into the playoffs, but that's still unfortunate, and he will finish this race after, what, five laps? Only made it through five laps. Again, we'll take you to the restart right now. So we're set to go green here at Daytona. Let's take a quick run through the field. Brian James is in first. Second is Sam Oskin. Third is TJ Hanley. Fourth is Anthony Lopez. Fifth is Andrew Wilson. Sixth is Steve Morgan, seventh is LW Wright, eighth is Jacob Dillons, ninth is Rodney Crouch, and tenth is Jacob Dillon, or not Jacob Dillons, Dylan Young, my bad. I already said Jacob Dillons. So, pace car pulls off and we are set to go green. Well, now he pulls off and we are set to go green. At Daytona, green flag is back out. Sam and Oskin going to the inside. He knows how to run Daytona. Nick Lopez following him. Here goes. 
rules. No, never mind. Three wide behind them, three by three. Little contact, and they are four wide. Brian James bounces off the wall. Looked like at least. Oh, and around, oh, contact, and on its side goes the 31. Oh, a big wreck. Upside down is the four. And a lot of playoff contenders. Brian James blew up. Joshua Sacculli blew up. Well, here is the battle for, for race back to the line. It looks like it's going to be Jacob Dillon's that wins the race back. So a massive crash in turn one and two, and we will take you to a replay. Well, I saw it coming back at the start finish line when they all went four wide. You just can't do this at Daytona. So it looks like the 27 hooked into the 40. And on its side, the 31 goes for a wall ride. And the 4 just hits the banking and goes upside down into the wall. Let's look at that car on his roof. <laughs> and just... Unfortunate turn of events here at Daytona, and we will take you to pit stops with a green flag when we come back. So, it looks like we have 16 cars left in this race. It's just been crazy, crazy night here at Daytona. Those are your drivers out of the race. So you have to wonder how much this will shake up the standings after this race. So out of turn four, Jacob Dillons will lead him back to the green. LW right second, Casey Nanako in third, and Tyler Fade in fourth, and John Gilbert in fifth. We are back green at Daytona. Halfway through this race, 12 laps to go. Dylan's pulled away a little bit, but he has no draft behind him. And Tyler Faden, he restarted fourth, and he's all the way up to second again. There are three wide behind him, behind this first group. And then here comes the leaders to pit road. It looks like the second group will stay out. And Samet Oskin leads the lap. So Samet Oskin is trying to make it two for two at Daytona. This year. And that would clinch his spot in the playoffs. Devin Blue, a rough start to the year, has a second. He had a very good second half of the year. He's trying to fight for a playoff spot. So we got 10 laps to go. At Daytona, we got Sam and Oskin. Now Henry Williams going to the inside. He won back at Martinsville. And he can't clear him yet. He might clear him off turn two. And he will. New leader, Henry Williams. Now Sam and Oskin's going to go for the lead for turn three. They got some lap traffic ahead of them from the leaders that did pit. Sam and Oskin's going to get the lead, and Devin Blue is going to get second.
there's still a good fight going on for second behind Sam and Oz him. Jason Tucker, as it stands right now, I believe he would be a regular season champion. Yes, he would indeed. By a long shot right here. So here come the rest of the leaders of pit road, minus Henry Williams and Sam and Oskin. So these two are going to stay out, play a little strategy game here. They believe they can make it on one more stop. I don't know of the rest of the guys. It's a two-man show right now. And they will both come to pit road this time. No, the rest of them are off. I believe this is your battle for the lead here when they come around. Close. And Sam and Oskins who win that race off. Can Casey Naneko catch them? That's Jacob Dillon's behind him and They come off down the back straightaway. This could be an interesting fight for the win here. So Casey and Nako is going to go up to, I believe, this is second. But not quite yet. Sam and Oskins pulled away, but he does not have any help with them. Casey and Nako is going to go down the pit road. Yes, indeed, that is the battle. You just notice the difference in the speed. These guys are running about five miles an hour faster, five, six miles an hour faster. So these guys will definitely catch them. It's a matter of when. LW Wright's going to go to third. And they are all going to pit. So, I, so this might have been a great strategy for Henry Williams and Sam and Oskin. As they might be good to go on fuel right now. And even better for Sam and Oskin. This 44 car has no help right now. So no one has any help in the top three. But anyway, no, now the 44 is catching the 19. He has the tail end of that 19's draft. We got ourselves an interesting battle right here in the coming few corners, possibly for the win. We come to four laps to go. The 44 is going to try and sling around the 19. Can't get there into the tri oval, but he's right on the back bumper of Sam and Oskin. Henry Williams is going to get to the lead out of turn two. He clears the 19. We try something down the front stretch.
So far, he's not doing anything. He might try something out of the trial toward turn one, and he will. He's going to peek to the inside. It's going to be a back and forth race to the finish. Here goes Henry Williams uh, looking for the lead in the turn three. He's going to get to the inside. He's going to maybe have it, and he will have it. They do have some lap traffic ahead. It's a 30 of Tyler Faden. There's not much of a difference in the speed, so it shouldn't slow him down too much. So two laps to go from Daytona. Sam and Oskin looking to make a two for two run, Daytona. And he will go to the inside. Does he have enough momentum? I don't think he does. Coming to the white flag this time by as they peek around Dylan Young. And the 19 is pitting. Oh, that is something the 44 definitely wanted to see as we come to the white flag at Daytona. One more lap in the regular season. He just has to make it through three corners. And Henry Williams will definitely clinch his playoff spot after this one. Down the back stretch into turn three. He has nothing to worry about. He just needs to cruise to the finish line. And I turn four. And Henry Williams is going to win at Daytona. And clinch his playoff spot. Henry Williams wins. Well... It'll be interesting to see the standings after this race. Of course, we're going to have an extended post-race show for to see who is in and who is out of the playoffs. Anyway, congratulations to Henry Williams, and we will be right back. Well, first, we're going to show you the results, and then we will have you, your post-race show, determining who is in the playoffs and who is not. We will be right back. Hello guys, and this is your official post-race show following the race 15 at Daytona, the end of the regular season. So these are your top 12 in points. Jason Tucker will take home the regular season championship. Um, so here's how to play, and then you see off to the side here is the playoff seedings. Now seedings are going to go based on A wins. So Henry Williams will win number one seed because he has two wins now after uh now see all these one win guys these are going to be decided based on laps led so second seed will be brian james because he led the most laps out of all the guys that had one win and so on and so forth and then after that these zero wins zero laps led these are going to be based on the points so hunter adkins will be 11th and then tyler faden will be the 12th seed in the playoffs now how the, how the standings are for the playoffs. You get five points based on the wins that you had in the regular season. So Henry Williams will have 10, 10 extra points and to the base points of 2,000 points. So he'll have 2,010 points. And all these guys with one win will still have 2,005 and then zero wins will have 2,000. So here are your standings from now the start of the playoffs so and we have two races remaining until the round of six it's gonna be three rounds we're gonna have the round of 12 to start out the round of six and then the championship four and that'll be held at the Watkins Glen boot so here's how the rounds are gonna work 
you if you win if one of these playoff drivers wins they get a spot into the next round so let's say steve morgan wins at what's the next race south boston he will get a spot into the round of six he's locked into it so anyways here are is the rest of the season schedule we have South Boston, Talladega in the round of 12. And then we have Indianapolis and Trois Rivieres in the round of six. And then the Watkins Glen boot will be your championship four. And that we will decide the Pepsi Hybrid Series season one champion. Right then and there. So anyways, thank you guys. And we will see you at South Boston. And congratulations to our 12 drivers in the playoffs. And good luck to you guys.